guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Sasha and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys so this video is going to be about what to do once you get engaged yes I recently got engaged on Christmas Eve if you haven't seen that video it'll be linked down below in the description go ahead and check it out okay guys like I was saying I have five things for you guys on what I think or what I did once I got engaged and you guys can follow those if you want or you can leave your options down below in the comments so other people can get other ideas on what they should do but before we get started don't forget to follow me on my social media I have a snapchat I have an Instagram you guys can click here or down below to follow me on those and then don't forget to hit that red button down below it's free go ahead and subscribe to my channel we are almost to 1,000 subscribers and I'm so excited but yeah, enough chit chat and let's get into the video. I wrote down my things on my little handy dandy notebook here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. First thing that I did and well, kind of had no choice. It's like a two in one. One is announce that you're engaged. I think nowadays people kind of announce it like either the next day or like kind of right away i mean and when i mean right away i mean like the next day or something in my case um it was kind of in the public um uh, when mark proposed to me so people were like posting it on instagram already so i kind of had no choice but to announce it um but yeah announce it and then also uh work on picking a date um i think i i think we picked the date like a week not even a week no we picked the date pretty soon um just an FYI, people are going to be asking you like crazy. So when is the date? When is the date? When is the date? Don't let people pressure you into like picking a date, you know, quickly. If that's not what you want to do. I wanted to pick a date quickly because I get anxiety and I need to like set things up and I need to like get things done. So we picked a date pretty quickly. Um, it's March 23rd of next year. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. So the second the second thing I got was a wedding planner. I went with my best friend and my fiance and we went and bought a wedding planner. This is mine. The lighting's gonna get all weird. It's gold and white. I think I got it from Target because I went to Michael's to look for one but it looked a little weird and confusing. So I went to Target and they had this one. It was the last one. It's very pretty. Um, and then um, also I know The Knot has one. Or you guys can download The Knot app. It's kind of like the same thing. It's awesome. I have it on my phone. I love it. This is not sponsored. I just really like TheKnot.com. Um, but yeah, in this book, it kind of just tells you everything about a wedding that you need to know. Like, it's amazing. Even if you don't write in it, which I haven't because I'm afraid of my ugly handwriting. It's really nice to read through and it tells you everything from ceremony, music, flowers, photography, guests, invitations, party, party entire, like the whole nine yards, when you should do it and, and so and so. And then another bonus thing that I did get is a notebook to go along with it. So cute. Anyways, I got a notebook to like write down uh, little notes and things. I started writing down my guest list in here and little things like that that I need a reminder of. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, things, yeah, that, 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 yeah, 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 okay. So yeah, things like that. Okay, so the next thing after I bought my wedding planner, I went to a bridal show with uh, two of my bridesmaids and with my matron of honor, my maid of honor, and my fiance and some family. It was a lot of us. Uh, it was pretty cool. I would suggest going to a bridal convention, like a bridal show thing. Com I think it's, yeah, convention. Yeah, I would suggest going to one of those because it's super eye-opening. You can get a lot of ideas, tons of magazines. You can taste things, you can touch things, you can see things that you probably haven't seen. And it's really informative and I would suggest anybody to go to it because, yeah, it was fun actually too. And very informational. So that is the third thing that I did. I mean, you don't have to do that. If, or if you think, if you know you know weddings or you have a lot of help, you don't gotta go to one. But it's a good experience and it's pretty fun. The, the fourth thing is pick your bridal party. This is the thing I did. I kind of had an idea of who I wanted in my party already. So I was just like, boom, boom, boom. And then I had Mark pick his, which took, it didn't take that long, but he took a little minute. So we got it. I have six bridesmaids and six groomsmen. So yeah, my party's pretty big because we like to party. Again, guys, I apologize. I haven't filmed in like forever. So if I'm all over the place, my bad. But we're going to get through this. We're going to get back to our norm. We Just hang in there. Don't leave. Hang in there. 
Okay. And then the last thing that I did was get my venue situated. Like I was saying in the beginning, I need to know that everything is set and I would like to have it set because I get anxiety when things get too bunched together. And I wanted to make sure we have our date. So I, me and my family and Mark like looked at like a couple places, but we fell in love with this one place and I'm super excited. Um, we're not really telling anybody where it is until maybe about six months before or um, later, like when the invitations go out. And I, oh, I'm just so excited. It's beautiful, I love it. And we're gonna have an amazing decorator and just, it's gonna be amazing. So that's booked. Both of my venues are booked. I have two separate places for my ceremony. I'm gonna, ser the, the, my ceremony, I'm getting married at the church where Mark proposed to me, which is Church by the Glades. And then after that, we're gonna go to another place for our reception. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna, try guys I promise to film more things like for this wedding like series and things like that so I can get more like footage in these videos because yeah it's better when you guys see visually like you yeah, know um the next thing up is I think we're going to not I think I know we're gonna take engagement photos so that we can do our save the dates so maybe I can film that for you guys like us picking out and designing the save the dates I'm probably gonna use Shutterfly um, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, Shutterfly, hey, hit me up, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, so probably gonna use that. But you know, thumbs up this video. Comment below if you would like to see us picking out our save the dates, or if you would like a behind the scenes on our um, engagement photos. Hey, see now we're coming up with ideas. Like we good, we we good. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so so much. This is the end of my video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. They are always down below and then probably on the screen and don't forget to hit that subscribe button become part of the family and i will see you guys on my next video love you bye <laughs>